this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Front Face Assistant to create a touch kiosk project, compose interactive menus for multimedia content, and then make it available on the touch screen of a player PC or kiosk system for interactive use. The Front Face software consists of two components, the Player app and the Assistant. The Player app is installed on the so-called Player PC, which is connected to the actual screen for displaying the content. The Assistant can be installed on one or more workstation PCs and is used to create and maintain the content. It also lets you manage the player PCs remotely. The deployment of the content and the configuration from the Assistant to the Player app can be done via a local network share, a file server, via a cloud storage service, or also offline using a USB thumb drive. On your workstation PC, execute the front face installation package that you have downloaded. Select the installation type, full installation, including assistant, and follow the installation steps. By default, the Front Face Print 2 screen printer driver is installed as well, which allows you to import content from any Windows application that has a print function. After the installation process is complete, launch the Front Face Assistant, either directly after installation or at any time using the corresponding shortcut in the Windows Start menu. FrontFace organizes all settings and the content into so-called projects. On the home page of the Assistant, you can open existing projects or create a new one. In addition to that, the home page gives you access to the user manual, the included sample projects, and other online help resources. First, create a new project. Give the project a name and select a suitable location to store your project. Make sure that the project type Touch Kiosk or Mixed is selected. Since in this example, the focus is on interactive touchscreen kiosk applications. If you are interested in creating non-interactive, automatically running digital signage playlists with Front Face, for example, for advertising or information screens, please check out the corresponding video tutorial for this use case. On the left side, you see the main menu of the Assistant with the menu sections Home, Players, Contents, Scheduling, and Publish. The Players section lets you manage your player PCs. One player PC is already created, as well as a screen. You can also use Front Face to control multiple screens connected to a single player PC. For this case, simply add more screens. You can also add additional player PCs at any time as well. The most important setting of each player PC is the publishing method. Here, you determine how your content and settings will be transferred to the player PC during the publishing process. If you have already set up a separate player PC on your local network and have installed the Front Face Player app on it, select Direct to Player as publishing method. Also, specify the UNC path to the publishing folder of your player PC as publishing target. Usually, this is backslash, backslash, name or IP address of the player, backslash, Front Face. Now that you've set up your infrastructure, it's time to create some content. We head over to the content section where the content is organized in the form of so-called touch menus. A touch menu is a hierarchical menu which the users can navigate later on. A menu consists of buttons. The buttons can either contain further sub buttons or the actual contents, such as pictures, PDFs, videos, or web pages which are intended to be accessed by the users. Our newly created project already contains an automatically created touch menu. 
You can always add further touch menus by clicking on the plus icon above the list of touch menus. To access the settings of a touch menu, either click on the pen icon or perform a double click on the respective list item. Enter a name for the menu. select the visual design of the buttons. Apart from that, there are specifically two more options which are very important. The menu layout, in which the buttons of the touch menu will be shown later on, and the content viewer layout, which is used when the actual content is shown on the screen. Both the menu and the content viewer layout can be selected from the collection of included layouts. Alternatively, you can also create your own layouts using the built-in layout editor. A central element of these layouts is the so-called toolbars, on which buttons with additional functionality for the touch menu front end are shown. For example, buttons for paging through multi-page content or for navigating back within the menu hierarchy. These toolbars can also be customized if needed. We keep all the default settings here and finally choose a picture which serves as wallpaper for the area on the screen where the buttons of the touch menu are displayed. After we have customized the settings of the touch menu, it is now time to create the actual menu structure and the contents with which the users will interact. In order to do so, click on the icon for editing the menu structure. The front face assistant then switches into editing mode for the selected touch menu. Now you can click on the plus icon to add menu buttons to the root level of the touch menu. Here, you can define various settings for each button, the name, which is also shown as the title on the button, an image that serves as an icon, and also colors, font style, and much more. However, you can not only add buttons to the root level of the menu. If you select a button and click on the plus icon, you can add further sub-buttons to the currently selected button. This way, you can create an entire menu hierarchy. When designing this menu structure, make sure that it is simple and intuitive so that the users later on can easily find their way. If a button does not contain any sub-buttons, you can assign one or multiple pages to it that contain content, such as images or PDF documents. Click on the plus icon above the list of pages for the new page, select a page layout. Some page layouts allow you to display even more than just one media object on a single page if needed. In this example, we keep it simple and just add a single PDF document. For every media object, there are a variety of settings available that you can adjust according to your needs. Next, we will add more than one page to a button. Every page is supposed to contain a photo. This time, we use the bulk import feature instead of creating every page manually in order to save some time. Finally, let's assign a web page to the last menu button of our menu. Front Face has a built-in Chromium-based HTML5-enabled browser engine that can display any web page and even supports interactions with that page. For a web page media object, you can choose if you want to display a normal browser UI, a reduced UI where specifically the URL is not shown and not editable, or no UI at all. In that case, the web page is simply shown in full screen mode. After we have created a touch menu, let's see how it will look on the player PC. Just click on the Preview button to start the preview. You now see the root level of the menu with the buttons we have just created. These can be clicked in order to navigate the menu or to show the assigned content. 
You can also see the toolbars here from the menu and the content viewer layout as well as the wallpaper that we have configured. The content, in the form of touch menus, is always created independently of player PCs and screens. Therefore, in the scheduling section, the touch menus are assigned to the screens. In the simplest case, this is a direct assignment. This means that the selected touch menu will be permanently displayed on the screen of the kiosk system. Alternatively, the advanced scheduling feature can be used to compose comprehensive scheduling using so-called timers, which also support complex repetition patterns. Touch menus can be displayed in a time-controlled manner. The Preview tab gives you a clear overview of when the particular touch menu will be visible on the screen. In addition to the timer-based control, there is also an event-based control by which external events can trigger the start of touch menus or playlists. Front Face comes with a built-in screensaver feature that lets you show any kind of multimedia content, like videos or slideshows, on the kiosk system when there is no interaction with the user for a certain period of time. For more information on the screensaver feature, please see the user manual. Now that the player and screen have been set up, a touch menu with some content has been created, and the touch menu has been assigned to the screen in the Scheduling section. Next, the final step to take is to deploy the content and control information to the player app. By clicking on the Publish button, the assistant starts to compile the contents and transfers them to the player PC. When the publishing process is complete, the player app displays the content as configured. In order to instantly check what is appearing on your screen, there is a player status monitoring available in the Players section. Depending on the publishing method used, you can retrieve the current screen content of the player and view the log file of the player app. To learn how to install and configure the Front Face Player app to play your content on a player PC, please check out the tutorial video about the Front Face Player app.